Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys Batman 66 video. Yes, to answer your questions right off the bat, this line is still going, and it's going pretty strong. What I like most about this line is that it brings back the fun, which is intentional, of just old school toys. They are minimally articulated, they're at the six inch, they've got play sets, they have vehicles, and they're not consistently hitting you over the head with these things. Every once in a while, there's a new wave that comes out. There's roughly five, six in the wave. Maybe there's a vehicle. Hey, that's all well and good for me because you PC Multiverse collectors well know that it's like barrage, barrage, Marvel Legends does it. It's just like continuously like here's more stuff. And sometimes it's more fun to just kind of sit back and enjoy the collection that you have. Now, before we get started, as always, if you are interested in any of the figures we're going to be talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. They might even pop up on the screen, make it easy on you. Thanks for using my link. So, first and foremost, hey, did you know way back in the 60s, there had some Italian posters for Batman 66, and he was colored red? Well, McFarlane Toys is bringing old Italiano Batman and it looks pretty cool. Now, of course, this is just a variant repaint. We've had numerous Batmans, but it's something different. It has a little history behind it. And I gotta say, a red and black Batman is pretty cool. Now, at the recent San Diego Comic-Con, we got to see this guy first and foremost. And yes, it is the exact Batman you probably have several of already in your collections. It's just a different color. Yes, it's cool because it stands out as that specific Italian movie poster, Batman 66. You get the idea. He also comes with his bat shield, which is just clear plastic, which is from the show and the comic and everything else. The bat shield should have a little bit more color to it, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I guess it's there for the most part. Here he is all packaged up, ready to go. At least he has an accessory. And what is kind of cool, come November, this particular Batman will feature on an upcoming DC Comics Batman 66 comic book cover. So hey, win-win all around for the Italian Batman. Moving on, you got to have a red Batman. Of course, you got to have a red Joker. <laughs> now, this can be looked at in a couple different ways. It could be the offset TV Technicolor version of Joker from the old Batman 66 TV show, movie, whatnot. There also could be a little hint of the killing joke in this with the red suit itself. But if I'm being quite honest with you, to me, it looks like Arthur Fleck, <laughs> which if I had to go with anything, yeah, I'm going to say that most definitely. So, yes, it's Joker. Green hair, red suits, orange vest, green shirt, and he has a gas canister situation, which that would be the perfect accessory for the Joker. And I like that because of such a wide grip hand they've put a little notch on there for him to be able to hold it. So I like how you got around that one. McFarlane Toys, well done. Looking forward to this zany, ridiculous red suit Joker. I'm more interested in the gas canister, if anything, if I'm being honest. And so next up, we have Wonder Woman. Got to say it just like that. This is definitely going to be Wonder Woman 77, Linda Carter. You can even see her as she's teamed up with Batman 66 in the past, specifically on covers. But yeah, I would say that that is definitely Linda Carter. Anyways, I think that's a really good looking Wonder Woman, if I'm being honest. Again, she was on display. Got to see her up close personal. There you go. She has a great head portrait on her. I think that is just very much an old school looking Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, all the while being very 70s, 80s-ish for the comics. That really is what it reminds me of. Kind of sort of superpowers too, but just that old school flair, which I think very much fits within the realm of Batman 66 and then the immediate sort of timeline around that. So she comes with her golden lasso all packaged up. Yes, this is a definite one for my collection. Now, this one right here, out of all of them, let's just settle this right now. This is awesome. We have the Clock King. <laughs> 
McFarlane Toys is on a Clock King kick right now, if you haven't noticed, in the DC Multiverse line as well. Morris, apparently, as they've continued on with the Batman 66 storyline in the comic books, he might even be the brother to the Mad Hatter. Interesting. And yes, as I always talk about new villains that we get, like we've previously got Bookworm, now we have Clock King. Bring on the zany henchmen. That's really what I want to see in a box set. I think that that would be a lot of fun. And I just love that he's in a black suit, red cape, and he has clocks all over him, especially the old clock in the hat. The one thing to point out, though, in some press photos is that the little we'll say clock on his lapel might be flipped for the action figure as opposed to how it looks on the show. Is that a huge dealio? I see that sometimes with some McFarlane figures. It's like they had it, but they flipped it when they actually made the toys. So just kind of something to keep in mind. I like that he has a big clock on his cape on the backside. That is awesome. Red, black, top hats. He's a dapper looking clock king he is. He doesn't come with any clocks. With all the clocks that he has all over him, just one clock, that would have been kind of cool. Maybe a pocket watch, something like that. But here he is all packaged up, ready to go. Morris, the Clock King. Really looking forward to this one. Which then leaves us with Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Now, to be honest with you, this is the umpteenth Batgirl we have gotten within the Batman 66 line and the new adventures of Batman, but this one seemingly is a definite homage to how she appeared in Batman the Animated Series because of the blue gloves, the gray costume, the yellow bat. You get the idea. If she had yellow gloves, that would be a little bit more comic book. We've already gotten the Batman 66, which, of course, she's in purple, and then we had the variances, the comic book looks, and the new adventures of Batman. So I would say most definitely this is the Batman the Animated Series homage. And she does look good. She's got a great head portrait on her. She comes with several accessories again, which we've already seen. She's got the handcuffs again. She has her little Batarang all packaged up, ready to go, Batgirl. But that's not the only thing for old Batgirl. We're also getting her specific Bat cycle. So the Batgirl cycle, which is very purple, very Bowie, very lacy, of course. Hey, that's a nice addition to the Batman 66 line. As corny as it looks. But that is the fun of that show. And that's why these toys are a lot of fun. It's a little bit campy. It's a little corny. It's allowed to be. That's what I want to see within this universe of action figures. So <laughs> just the giant bow. And I got to say, kind of how they've posed her on the bike in the press photos. I'm curious to see how it will work. When you actually have this in hand, remains to be seen. Here it is all boxed, ready to go. If you need Batgirl and her Bat Cycle, you can definitely pre-order these now. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new wave of the McFarlane Toys Batman 66 lineup. I love that we got Wonder Woman. I love, love that we got Clock King Italiano Batman, he's pretty cool. Arthur Fleck Joker, cool. It's a cool wave. A lot of repaints in the sense of, yeah, we've already got these and these, but Wonder Woman and Clock King are definite standouts. But I really like the variants that they got going on with these. That's kind of the ones where I'm like, okay, that's fine. I know we've gotten many, 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 many versions so far in the Batman 66 line, but it's one of those lines I just enjoy i just kind of enjoy it it's fun not a lot of people talk about it not a lot of people rag on it it's just kind of there and for me and my collecting i can just have fun with it i recommend it for a lot of you out there so you've heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything batman 66 and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember we got another villain checked off the old list, but there are so many more to go. Which ones are the must-haves for your Batman 66 collection? Let's talk about it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.